Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about the last lecture of this course, which is three-phase power flow. And I'm gonna have two short video clips to cover the two topics. One is the first, uh, the one-line diagram of the three-phase bandon system. Because in the, in the real world power system, there are many, many nodes, which are called buses. There are many, many buses, very complicated. If you draw all the three lines, it will make the diagram unnecessarily complicated. So there is a simplification of that. Uh, so the, the it, it's slightly different from what we used to draw the circuits. Uh, and this one line diagram, uh, that's that's the first topic we're gonna cover. The second topic we're gonna show a quick example of how we can calculate the power flow uh, for the three phase balance system using the one line diagram. And um, Remember the power flow is if you have you know the power drawn at a certain uh, node or bus and you're trying to figure out the voltage and the, and the source and the other uh, the power uh, supplied by the source. Okay, so let's start with the first topic. And so here I have a system three line. So I have a three phase balance source and supplying two loads. So this is the load, let's just call, I don't know, let's see, this is load number two and this is load number one. And I have a two sets of loads. And this is the, of course, this is gonna be the line impedance between the uh, first node and the second set of nodes. And um, and the Z sub L2, also the line impedance, right? And uh, so this is the sort of the, the the, without a simplification, you would draw the circuit uh, in this way. And if you have many, many of these uh, loads and sources, you, you can see this very complicated, right? And we also know that for the three-phase balance system, since all the uh, line impedance would be, or the load impedance, they will be the same for each phase. So there's no, uh, there's really no need to draw the three lines for the three phases. So the simplification with that is we can draw this one line diagram. And these are what we call the the bold line segments. We call the uh, buses. And we label this, let's say this is bus number one. Bus is basically the node. Uh, bus number one and this is bus number two. And this is bus number three. And so in the real world, there's, there are many, many buses, right? Because if you think about the transmission line going to one place, that place you may have a load, and you may have a generation, you'll have a source. So this is the a circle. This represents the source, the three-phase source. And the arrow going into this, this is the S1. This is the complex power, complex power delivered to the bus number one, or fed, or fed to the bus number one, to bus number one from a source. And also the source is not commonly known in the power system is it's called generation, right? They have a generators, all sorts of generators may be renewable, or, or maybe the gas turbines, have any, type of the um, uh, the sources. And so this is Z sub L1 is still, so this is the still line impedance per phase. So they make sure you you uh, treat this, um, that's the per phase. So if you have, if you try to calculate the power uh, absorbed by the line impedance, make sure you multiply them by three, right? Because each Z sub L in this line diagram only represents the one phase. Um, and S2, this is the load. So S2, S3, this is a complex power drawn from complex powers uh, drawn from these two buses or delivered to the loads. And also this arrow points away from uh, the bus, and that means you draw the power from, which is very informative. I think I cover all the, uh, no, the other things, you also label the voltage at each bus. Now, this voltage is not, these voltages are not phasers. These voltages are just the line-to-line -line voltage. 
magnitudes. And of course, we're going to use the uh, RMS value. So V1, V2, and V sub 3. These are the magnitudes of the line to line voltage. Line to line voltages at each bus. So, and it bus number one, two, and three. So, uh, of course, the amplitude magnitude is going to be in root mean square in RMS values. Okay, so this the we we should be able to read this one line diagram, right? So if we saw this one line diagram, this actually is corresponding to this uh, three line diagram. That's what um, what this one line diagram represents. Just want to make sure uh, everybody can read this. So next we're gonna take a look at a simple example how we can calculate three phase power flows. Okay, and see you in a moment.